we have seen major cyclone events in the recent past and one of the challenges has been that of being able to safely evacuate large number of people from coastal habitations that are highly vulnerable to uh, cyclonic winds, flooding, to safe locations. Through the National Cyclone Risk Mitigation Project Phase 1 and 2 and the Coastal Disaster Risk Reduction Project, the World Bank is funding almost a thousand cyclone shelters that are going to be built across the entire Indian coastline. These vary in size from housing 500 people to housing uh, 2,000, 2,500 people. So even if you take an average of 1,000, close to a million people along the entire Indian coastline will have a safe shelter to go to in case there is a cyclone or a heavy tropical storm. The way the cyclone shelters are located is that they are typically located in what one would describe as a host village. But the cyclone shelter would also in all likelihood serve neighbouring villages. The cyclone shelters have been designed after extensive consultation with the community and especially uh, women members of the community. The cyclone shelters are not only for protecting their lives at the time of a disaster, but they are also spaces that the community can use in regular times. So they are being put to use as schools, essentially primary schools, as secondary schools, as colleges, as community centers for the community to meet or for other community functions. It allows community better ownership of the space. It also helps in better maintenance of uh, this infrastructure and optimizes the investment towards building uh, this kind of infrastructure. The access road to the cyclone shelters is typically an all-weather road and in places where uh, the road is not in good condition or the cyclone shelter is located in a place where access is not adequate, the project is also financing access roads. Every uh, multi-purpose evacuation shelter also has a generator facility of a fairly high capacity. The generator serves as a backup to pump up water but also maintain a basic level of uh, illumination within the premises. One of the features that we have included in every cyclone shelter is a toilet for disabled. You have a WC with a railing for people to be able to hold on. At the floor level, there is no obstruction, which ensures that any movement of wheelchairs doesn't get obstructed. Community is really the first responder. This goes a long way in making sure that lives are saved, people are rescued, they get immediate medical attention, as well as the most vulnerable within a community are taken care of.